Tonight, the Portsmouth chapter of the Fraternal Order of Police is defending one of its members. Ex-officer Vincent McLean now faces a charge in the death of a pregnant woman who was in police custody. The charge came just hours after a jury acquitted McLean in the death of 28-year-old Willie Marable. In both cases against McLean, the issue is centered on whether or not he provided necessary medical aid. Now the FOP is firing back at the Commonwealth's Attorney's Office. Brenna McIntosh is in the studio now. Brenna what is the FOP saying? Sarah, the FOP is alleging the Portsmouth Commonwealth Attorney's Office has a quote, underlying vendetta against the city's police officers. The organization is defending McLean's character, saying he spent decades serving the citizens of Portsmouth. Fraternal Order of Police member Mike Hawley Sr. says he worked alongside Vincent McLean for years at the Portsmouth Police Department. Made me want to be a better cop, the way that he treated people on the street. Hawley describes the former officer as dedicated and says he doesn't deserve what he's going through. Just glad it's over. That was McLean just days ago outside the Portsmouth Courthouse after hearing a not guilty verdict for manslaughter. But just hours later, a grand jury indicted the former officer again on the same charge, this time for the death of a pregnant woman, 28-year-old Carmita Van Gilder. I think that, that that indictment came so so quickly is because the Commonwealth attorney got upset because the jury didn't do what she wanted them to do. Now, Holly and the rest of the Portsmouth FOP are coming to McLean's defense. In a statement, the organization said the city's Commonwealth Attorney's Office has a, quote, underlying vendetta against Portsmouth police officers. In a statement, FOP leaders wrote that they believe, quote, the goal of the Commonwealth Attorney's Office is to keep throwing charges at officers until one sticks. Back in March, Portsmouth Commonwealth attorney Stephanie Morales sat down with 13 News Now regarding McLean's first indictment. As far as I'm concerned, accountability is for everyone. McLean's attorneys said they will be standing by their client's side and will be filing their documents of discovery on Tuesday. I've reached out to the Portsmouth Commonwealth Attorney's Office as well as the city spokesperson for comment, but I've not heard back. In the studio, Brenna McIntosh, 13 News Now. And the city of Portsmouth has already settled with Van Gilder's family, paying them $550,000.